Okay, hi everyone. Thank you for coming and uh, hearing the talk uh, by Fuji Tayo. My name is uh, Dennis. I already presented uh, something on Japanese science fiction on Friday with the help of Anthony, who's uh, here as well, to uh, help hi. us with questions and everything. Um, so with that Further ado, and before uh, letting Fuji Taeyo speak, I'm just going to present him briefly so that you have an idea of uh, what he's been doing, writing, etc. And then we'll hear him do his talk. So, uh, Mr. Fuji Taeyo was born uh, on the Amami Oshima Island, which is a small island located in the southern tip of Japan between Kyushu Island and Okinawa Island. He worked for uh, stage design, desktop publishing, exhibition graphic design, and software development. In 2012, uh, he self-published uh, Gene Mapper uh, as a form in the form of a series in a digital format of his own design, and it became Amazon Japan's number one Kindle bestseller of that year. Uh, the novel was revised and republished uh, in both print and digital under the title Jin Mapper Full Build by Hayakawa Publishing in Japan in 2013. His second novel, Orbital Cloud, uh, won the 2014 Japanese uh, SF Award, the equivalent to the Nebula Award, the Seiyun Award, which is the equivalent to the Hugo Award, and took first prize in the best science fiction of 2014 in the Japanese science fiction magazine. Uh, both novels have been translated into English and Orbital Cloud uh, was recently translated into French by Atelier Akatombo under the title Nuage Orbital. And Fujisan is uh, showing you uh, the cover of the book. Um, he has also written many short stories for several magazines. Uh, some of them were republished in 2017 by uh, the Japanese publisher Hayakawa in the collection entitled A Fair War. Among them, uh, the eponymous short story A Fair War uh, will also be released in French by the same publisher, Atelier Katombo, under the title Battle Loyale. And there are uh, other short stories such as Collaboration, The Second, the Second Civil War, An Endless Summer's Night, uh, that explore the transformation of our relationships between human and technology through artificial intelligence. Another collection uh, titled Hello World was released by Hayakawa in 2018, and he's showing you the cover. And it won the mainstream literature uh, Yoshikawa Eiji Award. Uh, the following year, in 2019, his novel Tokyo Nipper, uh, envisioning a near future Tokyo three years after the Olympics, where immigration laws have changed to enable the coming of more foreign workers and where new forms of education are imagined. Uh, and very recently, uh, he released One More Nuke in February of this year. Um, a novel that is set uh, nowadays in March 2020, nine years after the great uh, Tohoku earthquake and the Fukushima nuclear disaster, and a few months before the Tokyo Olympics, which were eventually postponed, as you know, to 2021. And this uh, narrative imagines a nuclear terrorist attack on Tokyo around the time of the ninth anniversary of the Tohoku disaster and right before the Tokyo Olympics. A very interesting one. And uh, finally, to finish, uh, he is publishing this very month uh, in Wired, Japan, uh, a short story entitled Life's Flowing Along a Waterfall, uh, which envisions a post-COVID-19 world where societies are constantly battling with viruses, uh, including the COVID-19, but also influenza, hand, foot, and mouth disease, etc. And uh, societies all over the world implement uh, frequent quarantines and lockdowns to deal with those epidemics. 
And so he's showing you um, the cover of Wired magazine, the Japanese edition. Um, and so it's released this month. And um, Fujisan also served as the uh, 18th president of the science fiction and fantasy uh, writers of Japan from 2016 to uh, 2018. And so, Tayo, thank you very much for accepting yep. to participate to this fiction. Uh, we're very glad to have you with us here. Uh, and when we discussed about uh, your presentation, you told me that you wanted to talk about your last short story about the COVID-19 uh, pandemic and how it affects our societies, our ways of relating to the world from the point of view of science fiction. Um, so I will therefore let you talk freely and we'll keep probably 10 to 15 minutes around the end for possible questions from the audience or questions from Anthony and myself. So again, thank you very much for participating. Thank you very much for introducing me, Denise. Uh, Denise. Yeah, and uh, uh, thanks for inviting me to the, this, the great, uh, this great uh, online seminar. Yeah. I'm very glad to be talking about my latest novel, newest novel, and uh, newest story, the, the post-pandemic story. Yeah, and uh, I contributed uh, the short short story on the Wired Japan, and uh, this Wired issues will be published in the 18th June. Then I only have the, this uh, sample books. Then there are no pages. Get blank <laughs> right now. <laughs> this is a very, uh, very sample for show. I got the uh, printing sample for showing you under another uh, TV medias. Cool. Then, uh, yeah. Then the, I'm going to the show. Uh, I'm going to talking about the uh, after the days of the pandemic. I imagine. I'm so sorry about using the presentation editor's screen. <laughs> I want to start, I want to show on the presentation screen, but uh, if I start uh, the presentation, the, my the monitor was hidden, then <laughs> hidden by screen and presentation, then I should sh show on the editor's uh, editing screen. Then uh, this is the top note of the after the days of pandemic. Uh, the basically the science fiction writer uh, write about the future or setting in the future time, but uh, it is not the prediction. Yeah, not simulation. And we only write about the if something occurs, then the please understand we are writing about if something occurs. Then I don't uh, I don't expect there are something occurs then the story then but the we are thinking there seriously and deeply about the future or the simulating in their their occasionally scenes if that's something occurs then uh i i think i can uh, i want to share my ideas about the post pandemic situation the first i see what the when then at first I should say that then this is my first idea when I when I listen about the COVID nineteen the this the new uh, new coronavirus the pandemic and that was the uh, twenty fifth of June, January it is a day of the the Chinese government discloses the information and they're starting to announce to the Wuhan city to the closing uh, Wuhan citizens to the closing the city. On that day, I read the many the scientific article published from the Chinese media and found that our sharp eyes finally got the capability to the watching the birth of the cold. The cold was a uh, very uh, worried disease basically not serious really and um, basically not serious but the, it is very difficult to watching it the men the hundred or thousand type of the cold virus or the uh, bacteria affected but 
our the techni technology reaches to the point of the, we can see the birth of the cold. Then, Chinese genetic company found the Chinese genetic company the sick uh, the go to the full full sequence of the COVID uh, other SARS COVID uh, SARS COVID two uh, SARS COVID virus only three days. The from the liquid, uh, the from the liquid or from the patient. Then that liquid includes uh, tons of the virus and tons of the bacteria the genome. But the Chinese gen uh, gen uh, genome company found the targeted virus, particular virus, only three days, and they found that it is a family of the SARS virus, SARS, uh, SARS, the virus of the SARS. It is the I cannot imagine that the speed of the. I I didn't expect it before that before read it, read the Chinese article, we our technology is getting the achieved for that for this this point to finding the disease in real time. Then our technology, but at the same time, I found that. Our technology cannot make the vaccine in real time and the week and the, the, the medicine in real time. And then there are other asynchronous uh, asymmetry of the the watching and the handling and managing also. It is it was very interesting. That is my first idea of the COVID nineteen, and the secondary I found the. The virus cold is just a cold. Then the oh, full uh, full genome of the COVID, uh, full genome of the South South COVID uh, two is just only the thirty kilobase. That means only the ten thousand amino acid maximum. Very small. If I have the, if you have the two days or so. You can read through the old genome on printing paper, even if there, that that will not there mean uh, make the mean inside the brain. But uh, we can read the old ACDC the code and the amino uh, amino types from the printing paper in two days. This is not so long. Uh, this is not long information, but that. And uh, so 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 so, and then only uh, th those codes only the making the virus profiles. Then the, for example, the incubating period is longer than the SARS, and the many asymptomatic infection person person is moving. Uh, is well, will be there exist because. That virus will not uh, so actively and so so, uh, so the expanding in the uh, particular part so quickly. It is under the so so sorry yeah. that this virus is uh, slowly expanding in the body. And many asympton uh, many the silent silent uh, infected person is moving in the around the cities and increasing their and they're affecting increasing the many part of the bodies. This is a uh, very the unique point of the the this disease. O not only by slot, but the slot and lung and the blood, what are uh, yeah the skins also. Then then this uh, this uh, the SARS COVID two virus the can touch to the many type of the cells, human body cells. Yeah. And occurs the deadly the lung disease the deadly lung cancer and the lung disease. Then but those are not the malicious code. But that's a very serious but this serious virus the stings the weakness of our society. Yeah, you can see the very good example in Singapore. Singapore was Singapore was the best country of the controlling group 
gripping the virus infection at the first one, first one month. Then they, they are the computer technology and the, the big data handling, techno, uh, handling techniques and them very massive uh, controlling power can control the disease infection. But after a month, the Singapore is facing about uh, the second, the second the epidemic season from the house workers community. That the house worker is not uh, cared well rather than the Singapore uh, native citizens. The house workers came from the Philippines or Vietnam or the Thailand also. They are the foreigner, imi uh, not immigrant, foreigner worker is not care because then they made the infecting crust, infecting, infecting group clusters. Then as this so, then the, the Singapore's the weak point was the uh, infected by virus, as if the virus have the intelligent. In Europe, then I say I don't I don't know about in detail in many countries so so many countries and uh, I don't know the I don't the analyze the, all of the country but the basically the social and medical resources was decreasing decreasing with the uh, in the in these years then the hospital and the medical resource uh, decreasing country was affected by the virus and the United States poverty basically poverty and the uh, health program was uh, the, those two poverty and health, health program was uh, the big issue of the United States for this uh, not only in this year but also that this hundred years then virus the phones the weak point of the virus seems to find the the mo mo big biggest weak point of the United States and uh, attacking but not we know that we know we know that but not the virus is just a cold but as uh, that but the virus works as if they have the intelligent then, like this i have the store under then uh this is a way of the thinking of the making the adding the adding, adding the narratives and the stories onto the just a cold then this is my way of the making the stories. Then, oh, okay. Then, as I think so, then I start. I should write the another story of the after the pandemic season was finished. I the first I think that we cannot pass next disease by virus because. We found we have the tech. We have uh, our technology eyes are capable for the may finding the disease virus in real time. If the next the virus, uh, if the next uh, disease started but on the the some part of the world, we can find it, and we should the affect it. We cannot pass or we cannot ignore it. Because we can't do it, we can't find, we can, we can see it in real time. Then this is uh, the starting point of the writing a novel. Then after finishing the coronavirus the quarantine season all over the world, we will find the next disease in the every two years or every three years or two or three years and uh, starting the short granting term of the part of the part by part by the part by part of the world or cities also on that situation then makes the new story then uh, i started to write about uh, life's flowing along the along waterfall then that this is the post pandemic novel. It is novel, not a, not a novel. <laughs> then, novel, novel, about the, then the setting year is 2030. 
then our society used to live with the diseases, not only the coronavirus, but also another one formed after the SARS CoV 2. Then the short current in program was operated by the local government, like uh, Amamiyoshima or the city, uh, cities of the Tokyo or the Nice or so. And then each local government can handle the, the quarantine programs then effectively, uh, effectively because uh, they already have the experience and they, they we have their find the virus dynamic uh, in real time. I think so. Uh, this is the setting years. Then the protagonist is the virtual reality stage engineer Shiba. Then virtual reality stage engineer will be the next good the work, designing worker of the this online the conference uh, on, on the after the uh, not only after the um, right now the we have uh, from the from right now the virtual reality stage designer will be the invited to the many project to make the virtual arena or the virtual the uh, conference room also. And, and me, I'm the volunteering for the World Convention, uh, uh, World Con, uh, con uh, the World Con held in New Zealand. I'm making the virtual arena right now. <laughs> We're using the Blender and the pu publishing into the the Web 3D platform. Then I. I uh, I believe that the uh, virtual reality asset designer will be the next good the designing work. Then then I set the protagonist worker as as the virtual reality state designer, and the he and the, uh, he is living in the Amami Oshima, very small country. Then uh, the small uh, island, and he knows that. The next quarantine announce will be occurred. Then he decided to escaping from the, the home home staying and the, staying the camp in the forest for a week because she is at the because the staying home is so boring and that that boring time will affect his older degrees his uh, motivating to making the new stages. Then uh, he decided to uh, he wanted to going to camp in the forest. That's the, that inspired the forest inspired his uh, working the originality or the creativity also, and he went to the point of the camping. It's uh, beside the waterfall in the forest, and found uh, another family. That those family may have the disease, and uh, those fa those family were the foreigners, and then then the Foreigner is foreigner means that the source of the infection also then he's he's a unique the staying with uh, another country's family started. This is a story. Then uh, the story will be translated into English in this year, I think. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to yeah 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 I'm 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 asking to the, uh, several publishers <laughs> to the translate it. <laughs> then I, I think that you can read it in this year. <laughs> but uh, basically, the, I'm the, I want to share my the idea or the setting about uh, using in uh, using in this uh, setting in this work with you right now. Then. At the first, I describe about the greeting, greeting, with a, uh, yeah, Gonsho, then, Gonsho is, a, you know, the, the Kung Fu greeting, you know, the Chinese style, the light, uh, left fist and the wrapping the right hand is Gonsho. And uh, then another, ah, uh, it is a trivia. Then this type, this type, the flat, flat, flat palm and uh, the straightened elbow is uh, starting from the uh, before the fightings. 
you know that it come from uh, the the come from movie. It is it is a greeting from uh, before the the fighting or the or more official one. Then the Gonsho is a Chinese more <laughs> very friendly greeting and not touching and not kissing also. Then I use the greeting as a important behavior greeting on this walk. This is not expecting, but also that that the Chinese style is very important. Uh, the Chinese style is very important for us right now because the disease started from Wuhan. We remember then then adding the detail. Uh, I only add the detail Chinese detail. So on this work with greeting. And the next the gadget is the antigen stamp. It is uh, the index of the yeah index of uh, this is the uh, same same of my the forearm. Then uh, the <coughs> antigen stamp is not uh, people have the already have the vaccinated or the, uh, the in, uh, infected. Then. And there, I think there, it is necessary to showing the infected information for the another person. Then I the, described that uh, I had the I made antigen stamp setting and I described that I did. I then this is not coming technology. Yes, I understand. I know that this is a very very personal information and that anybody can't use it but we should but i think that we will have the card or the another smartphone application also then yeah smartphone application to showing the i don't infect it or other i already have been infected and i have the antigen already also then uh then I symbolize the those uh, information, the those uh, infected information, onto the the their visual stamps. Then, and the on this work, the cruise ship is uh, a quite a bit important uh, the transportation system on this year. Then I think uh, this is a quite uh, this is a bit the quick order. Uh, this is not the expecting. Also, <laughs> then I don't think the cruise ship or the the ship transportation will not be rest uh, restored after the pandemic years. We are going to use our airplane. <laughs> because it's quickly <laughs> and very convenient then but the i want the let i want let the readers to imagine the how what the big change will coming then i i write about the ship is coming i don't believe it but i write it about it uh, i write about it ship is coming the, because ship is safe uh, the the traveling traveling with ship of the object or the commodities the, the long term will the kill virus naturally because the virus is not the life then if the human flesh is not exist the virus will be uh, virus will be destroyed naturally. Then the commodity can be transported very safely, uh, safe, safe, safely with using the ships. And cruise ship tourism will tourism will uh, it uh, would be the safe the safe way of tourism in some point because uh, the cruise ship can help from the port easily rather than the airplane. Then, if the airplane they coming from the Paris to the Tokyo have the infected, but the Tokyo the night airport cannot uh, stop to the coming and uh, cannot uh, 
getting back to the airplane because the, the airplane cannot the stopping onto the air and that ship can do that. If the infected person the found in the ship, then the port only stop not to the import not to the coming. Just stopping here and the queue and they taking care on the inside hospital. The huge uh, huge cruise uh, big big cruise ship can have the the good hospital inside it. I think it is rather rather better than the the, the standard cities. Then this is the two the hook of the idea. The thinking the uh, two hook of the imagining the big changes after the this pandemic. Then I want the on this story that I'm using the gene editing therapy for the final big the event or the final big the tricks or the story the turning point then i want to let the reader to the used to the thinking about the future in many point and finally throwing to the genetic editing therapy the idea i believe that the genetic ed editing therapy will coming. This is this is my, this is uh, coming because the we our society and our globes already investigated the billions of the billion billion of the billions dollars for the making the vaccine. Making vaccine is not only the making making vaccine investigation is not only the investing to making developing the vaccine though the tons of the money will be used for the making the genetic robots and making the gene the duplicating or the gene duplicating the machines or the another the gene other another genetic or the all 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 the uh, around arounding technology uh, companies then i believe that genetic editing genetic editing therapy will coming in uh, five years then that will make that will change our the old that will change the game uh, the rule of the games many and uh, the rule of the many games i think then I want to imagine gene editing therapy will coming. When that is coming, we should decide the what is human being. On the other, uh, why I start? I why I want to the talking about the gene editing therapy is coming because the we already the separating the genes with the social or the medical and um, not only medical but the social reasons amamiyoshima is very small uh, amamiyoshima the setting the setting island amamiyoshima is very small island is my home island and uh, i was so surprised that the many of us was cared by the kaisal the cutting the they're cutting their uh, wombs and bringing the babies. Why? Because their doctor is not living in the Amiyoshima Island. Only the Tuesday or Thursday or Friday, doctor is coming from the, from the Kagoshima, the, uh, this large island, and having birth. Then doctor want to schedule their birth. Then, in Japan, the no pain birthing is not popular. Then, and popular and expensive. Then, but the cutting the kaisal, uh, the kaisal style is uh, the covered by the inch other health uh, health program. Then, the many birth baby is born born with a bar born with the cutting the. Uh, Kaiser style, uh, Kaiser Wasing. And that will make the changes 
very slight changes, but the, the, that changes the slight our genes of the head size of the baby. Then in China, Chinese China is a very the, pop, uh, the and China is a very the big country of, of the uh, the using the Kaiser birthing because the doctor the number of the doctor is so small rather than the the their big moving big developing years. Then the head of the the head of the uh, baby's size is increasing because then this is good and uh, this is good uh, this is good i believe the uh this is good uh, good this is good point but the big head baby cannot burst safely safety is a natural burst but the kaiser can bring it then that makes the baby's head size increasing rather with uh, the way increasing that's a gene changing that's separating the human species species slightly not only this uh, not only this uh, the kaisal's uh, kaisal style the kaisal bursting our other gene model is separating then we should imagine that we are going to live live in the more diverse world rather than now gene editing therapy made uh, would the change our the pro the life code entirely then that will come i i expect uh, i just expect about the, our the gene editing therapy will change our species species uh, code and this is the real future then i want to the let the readers imagine the war does that society is coming then i wrote the story with the covering the gun show the ancient stamp and the cruise ship detail and making the many not expected details and and i want i and and uh, so finally I throw the, the big idea for readers. Yeah, this is my story. Then uh, I want to imagine you about the. We are going to changing my species right now. And the coronavirus, uh, the and this coronavirus, the quarantine or the coronavirus, the disaster, uh, the pandemic, will the Axel this movement thank you very much for the uh, it, is, it is my the story about uh, it is my uh, speech around the yeah around thank this you. pandemic okay thank you thank you thank you very yeah, much thank you very much okay um yeah so yeah um, I, I mean Thank you very much for sharing uh, this new uh, short story mm -hmm. that's going to be published actually this month. It's not out yet, so the people listening to the cast now have uh, premium access to a very new short story. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to ask you then several questions. And I had prepared some, but actually what you just explained made me think about, uh, especially the situation in France. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not an expert and I hadn't been following so much what was going on on TV, but um, the government has issued uh, an application for smartphones that is called mm -hmm. Stop COVID-19, where there is like Bluetooth exchange that you can know, for example, if you yeah. stay around someone who got infected and then got the information, then let everyone know whether they might be infected or not. And it, it has become, I think, um, a big question in terms of like information sharing, what should we do uh, after the quarantine? And like, is this uh, a good way of doing things, etc. And when I read your short story, especially this idea of actually after a big quarantine, and in a world where new viruses are coming every year, and there are actually 
new lockdowns and new quarantines established every two months mm -hmm. or so in your short story. And so yeah. y your characters actually, instead of having an application or um, showing papers, etc., just to actually <laughs> ease out the tension with people they meet, just show like their stamps on the yeah. forearm, showing like I have the antigen to SARS-CoV-2, I have the vaccine for uh, the new strand of uh, this year's uh, influenza or the hand, mouth and foot disease, for example. So yeah. I found that actually quite in line and quite about what we're experiencing mm. now after the quarantine and how to mm. open up the lockdown the, in the most efficient way. So is there any yeah. talk about like some application or something like that in Japan as well? Uh, the, actually, the, in the Japanese government started, decided to using the Google Apple API for the okay. contacting contact tracing, then that will work, I think. I believe that. And uh, without thinking the big company holding the big data, entire data without without thinking about it then the both two country the both two company is the further fair rather than governmental application or the Japanese local companies that are making the Bluetooth using ones also mm -hmm. and uh, Ano yeah, and anonymous state, uh, they are using, they are good, good, uh, they are good operator of the anonymous, uh, information handling. Then, then Google Apple the contact tracing application by, the, held by the Google and Apple will the better way right now. Okay. But okay. yeah, but this means that, yeah, the comp, the private company, have the very strong force of the controlling the pandemic. Mm. Okay, because yeah. it was interesting because I, I remember having read uh, another short story by Ogawa Issei in mm -hmm. 2008. Uh, it was called... Hakucho uh, Netsu no Ashita. Oh, yeah, like yeah, the okay. the yeah. swan flu, uh, tomorrow's swan flu, where he imagines actually yeah a influenza virus H5N1 uh, killing off mm -hmm. like two thirds of the world population and like there are millions of yeah. uh, death in Japan. But the story revolves more around, um, how can I put it? The usual way of um, dealing with people together. Like the story, the one of the character, a, a young girl, like uh, she's going to high mm -hmm. school was actually the first patient in Japan. So mm -hmm. she's thought to have brought the disease in Japan mm -hmm. and everyone hated her. So she got like yeah. males and you know, this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And the story revolves more around like her overcoming that rather than you, for example, um, focusing on the ways people can actually interact uh, in a more friendly way or in a more like in a more natural way in a post endemic uh world so why is that most of your stories for example they 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 have like this uh engineer of some sort or software designer <laughs> i mean most of your stories everything you wrote revolved a little bit around uh, artificial intelligence mm. and how artificial intelligence is not controlled by human it evolves mm -hmm. it co-evolves with humans and finally mm -hmm. you you have this like bright image of a future where something new can happen with that and so did that um you were talking about uh, gene editing for example mm -hmm. does that yeah. focus on ai algorithm software code where you have mm -hmm. a lot of images coming from biology, viruses, infection, mm -hmm. yeah, etc. Yeah. Does that influence uh, your work regarding like this mm -hmm. post-endemic uh, short story? 
Yeah, sure. Yeah, I uh, I should I should change the uh, I- many ideas after this war uh, after this pandemic. The technical idea I should write. I I, I cannot uh, ignore. I cannot ignore this uh, the quarantine years and pan- this pandemic uh, in writing the uh, future story. We, I cannot Im- ignore this the big mm. the historical the topics and on the same then we I uh, our I want to say that the, our humanity is progressing. That was shown in, the, in this pandemic because uh, all another the disaster uh, disaster story like Oga Ice is one. Then the infected person was hearted and hated in the in the novel story, but in real world, the some the some uh, the hating and the, the Punishing the infected person is only occurs in the very the small part of the world. We defend uh, we defend the infected person and the, the government. There is uh, trying to the keeping the uh, keeping to the hide their real information from uh, personal information from the audiences or the medias. Then uh, the many the country and many the operating the organization. Walking very human, walking along the humanity, the walking on the hu- humanity or the very good way of the carrying the human right. Then I should write about. I should. Uh, I cannot write about the, the, the typical disaster story. Okay. After, <laughs> after pandemic. Okay. Uh, so sorry. Then I'm the optimist. <laughs> I'm the freaky optimistic person right there in the in Japan in Japan. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. And um, well, I have another question also. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. During uh, Nice Fiction, there were several mm-hmm. talks uh, about the relation between humanity and nature. Um, yeah. For example, is it possible for humans to overcome this tendency to distance themselves from nature or to yeah. master nature and how can science mm-hmm. fiction imagine human beings uh, as part of a, an ecosystem that is bigger than themselves mm-hmm. and for mm-hmm. example many scientists uh, pointed out that the the outbreak of the COVID-19 is related to the fact that humans are invading every space available on the planet and living next to mm-hmm bats or uh, animals like that and that of course it has influence afterwards back on human beings on the, on humanity mm-hmm. so um what is your opinion about that keeping in mind that those views are connected to european and north american thoughts like i mean the mastery of nature etc so it might be different from your point of view or from the japanese point of view yeah ah uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah basically yes Ah, yeah, then the human. Then we will see that the all the human being pollutes the nature, pollutes and are uh, bro- uh, breaking the natures during this pandemic. Then I saw the, the in Japan the the many Japanese the quarantine is not so hard that we don't see there are many changes. But the dear of the North city, the uh, you know the the Japanese are uh, very ancient city Nara. They have the wild deer inside the uh, cities. The, yeah, and the deers uh, sit is healthy right now <laughs> because uh, tourists didn't come under disturbing uh, their life. Then they got healthy. They got health before the pandemic. Then, uh, rather, uh, rather before the pandemic, then uh, the basically the, we will find the nature of uh, the human being. Human being action will the damaging the the uh, the hit the breaking the nature in the, uh, this pandemic. And 
we will find and we will see the the, we are going to the stepping in, stepping further of the, the, the SDGs team, the many SDGs team also, I think. Mm. Yeah. This is a very good timing of the thinking about everything. Okay. Yeah. And uh, basically, the, but the, we should think about the change, about change of the society deeply, more deeply rather than nature. Then the we uh, we know and we uh, the so before this pandemic, the universal basic income was fantasy, but in this year and uh, in these weeks, we got money, real money from government in many countries, British, United States, Japan, Japan, yeah, and French also. The many country, many country providing the real money for the to citizens. Okay. Before pandemic, they all said that we cannot provide the money for citizens. Yeah, even if we the the cape and the even if the the huge earthquake attacks or yeah huge typhoon or huge hurricane attacks, they can they there the door was not opened, but this pandemic showed that universal basic income is possible. That will change it. <laughs> Entirely change it. Uh, the, any, uh, everybody know that the universal basic income can the working. Then that we should keep this uh, small light to bigger <laughs> mm. and and change our society rules. But yeah, yeah, society rules. Yeah, this is. Uh, I think there. This is most big change. Uh, 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 like this, there. The, yeah, nature, nature and human, nature and human action, uh, uh, action, is a very important one. But the society, we know that the many the society rule was cha rule was changing. Yeah, then on uh, during this pandemic, then this is very good point. I think. Okay. Maybe, I don't know, Anthony, do you have yeah, uh, any I questions? Would have, I would have um, uh, at least uh, one uh, small question. Uh, maybe you, you yes. said uh, a few words about it, uh, but uh, uh, how do you feel about uh, massive daily transportation of people, like uh, in terms of uh, transportation systems, in, uh, uh, in terms of a related connection to a broader picture, uh, yeah. like globally? Uh, you mentioned mm -hmm. tourism. Tourists, uh, what, what, what is your opinion about that? Yeah, this is uh, yeah. After ten years, uh, the several years, we will see there are many faces and the border controlling. But uh, after, I believe that. The next, uh, we will find, we will face the second or third the new coronavirus pandem uh, pandemic, and we'll face the several the diseases. Then, and we our the border controlling will be the changing and optimized for the the keeping the transportation easily rather than the, not no, not so huge rather than not huge before the pandemic but the necessary part will be start soon i think yeah yeah but the the style the but the detail was the changing the country by country the some country make the like jail jail like the hospital jail like hospital the beside the airport and the, some country the making the the yeah the very good the hotels <laughs> hotels beside the airport and the, every tourist should to spend the several days inside the hotel or so then the detail will changing by the country by country and the eu area <laughs> is uh, yeah i believe that the eu will provide the many good the uh, yeah. With the, co the room for the drinking the wine and the having the good the cuisine and waiting for the the period yeah incubation period. 
No, because I, I mean, Anthony's question was quite related to um, what you were <clears throat> explaining in the short story, like how in your short story, in the post endemic world you're uh, imagining, people don't mm. use airplanes anymore. They use uh, boats <laughs> because if you want to yeah, sure. ship stuff over the world, it takes longer, yeah. <laughs> but it's safer because as you said, the virus will die off automatically <clears throat> if there are no human beings to, uh, to yeah. live off on. <laughs> And you were talking about uh, gene editing for humans, especially in terms mm -hmm. of the immune system and like how to cope with new viruses. But I think that you mentioned at the beginning of your short story that those, um, well, maybe g gene editing or another uh, technology helps humans uh, develop vegetables that don't rot easily <laughs> and that can be transported over time without any problem. So you're also mm -hmm. envisioning, I mean, it's not related to tourism, as Anthony said, but still it's like you're also thinking about transportation and not just of people, but I think you say also at some point in the short story that people are rediscovering that the main commodity is food mm -hmm. and not yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, products. And so the point in the short story is to help provide foods everywhere <laughs> sure sure yeah this is a uh, yeah this is i expecting the, <laughs> yeah. this is i expecting part of the future the food providing will be very important yeah after pandemic years then yeah because you i think and you already uh, used that idea also in a in another short story set in east asia mm -hmm. after a big disaster an earthquake yeah, sure. Where you're using drones that uh, provide actually food, medicine to people that are <laughs> sure, waiting yeah. for them. Yeah, I wrote it. <laughs> yeah, the providing the the transportation and the providing the food will be the very huge problem for for us, I think. Mm. Yeah. Then the changing this changing those rules will be the good the uh, the will be the very good uh, that will make the many good short uh, stories from right uh, from right now then many writers will write about the food or uh, the health or so i mm. think i'm going to talk about uh, these I, I think we are going to talk about this point to the next session of the round table <laughs> Ah, okay. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's already Francesco Basso. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Francesco Basso is uh, from Italy. Is a professional of solar punk, and uh, I'm going. Uh, I I already contributed one solar punk story to other. Uh, yeah, one anthology already. Yeah. But you said you were a very positive yeah. science fiction yeah. writer in Japan, so maybe solar punk yeah, sure. is definitely close to your. Uh, <laughs> way of envisioning narratives yes. in science fiction yes <laughs> okay anthony do you have any thing no, to add or i think uh, we will have to, to stop ah, we're, but okay uh, yep it was yep. very interesting thank you very much uh, for your for your talk it was a great yeah. pleasure to have you uh, with us today uh yeah Dean. Would you like to say something to conclude? Well, uh, I was about to say thank you for accepting actually to be here because we have uh, seven hours. Uh, you're seven hours ahead of us in Japan, I think. So it's yes. already quite late. So and you're participating yeah. to the next panel. So thank you again for accepting to uh, share thoughts about a post pandemic world and especially mm -hmm. uh, given premium insight into your new short story that's not even out here. So uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, uh, thank for you, listening, thanks, for watching. Uh, and uh, and uh, you will, um, there will be a table just after with, uh, so you will uh, have a Fuji as well around the table for the uh, abroad the science fiction table. So see you soon and keep uh, keep uh, keep going on the, the festival.
Thanks, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cette table ronde vient de se terminer, mais le festival continue tout le week-end. Le programme complet est disponible sur nice-fiction.fr. Les stands vous attendent sur notre serveur Discord. Pensez également à visiter nos expositions 3D et n'hésitez pas à intervenir dans le chat des conférences et tables rondes si vous avez des questions.